Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox, we're playing some more bad business, as you can see on the screen right now, like, I actually have added in a new G11, I thought it was a pistol, but it's actually not, I know where it is now, because I've used it a little bit, um, but this is a gun that I use a lot on Call of Duty, even though I'm pretty sure it was really garbage, if I remember correctly, but yeah, my old class, I want to quickly mention, okay, it was actually the Spaz, because, um, it was really nuts, and I actually just unlocked it, but also, on today's video, I'm showing off the G11, but really quickly, okay, um, for the new updates and tweaks that they've done, there's a new radar system which is on the top right. They added side panels to the right shield. Skins can now be equipped to the Molotov. That's cool. I don't really use Molotovs. I still use the stick grenade because they were OP. Tweaks. Molotovs fire have slightly different colours for enemies. Shotguns no longer give a headshot multiplier, which is a big one. I only started using the Spaz 12 because it would one shot from a freaking long range. They've nerfed it now, I guess, or every shotgun. Visual recall reduced, so also when you're firing your guns, also they go like that, some of them, but the actual recall doesn't do that, uh, so it's just visual, so they no, they reduce that a little bit. Stick grenades have actually been reduced, they used to do 150, they would one shot, now they only do 100 damage, and voting is back to top vote instead of waiter, which I don't really know what that means. But anyway, this is the new gun, it is a three round burst. Um, I have used it a little bit, I will say, I think I've got like maybe 40 kills with it. Um, I kind of wish I recorded the last game as well because it was a pretty good game, but it is a burst gun. Okay, why are you here? Don't knife me, I will cry. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna flank. I don't know what they're looking at, but I'm fine with it. Yeet. The heat. <laughs> How many people just freaking ran at me, man? I mean, I've got a lot of bullets, okay, but I, I will say okay. I like this gun. I love burst weapons. I wish like, they added more. I really only use this gun as a burst weapon. Um, so I, I don't really know if there's any more. Okay, leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. So, it's... Okay, that guy just melted me. So yeah, I actually have been using the Chris Vector a lot as well. I really like that gun. It's so fast fire rate. I will say hello. The fire on this gun's pretty good. It's kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. Um, also, as you can see, the recoil. Um, even though like, most of it's visual, it's kind of difficult to hit people from far away. Because also, like, it's a burst gun. You're going to fire long range, but... Only like maybe one or two bullets out of the three round burst is actually going to hit people. Especially when they're on head glitches. Like, it's, it makes it impossible at long range to really use this gun. So, keep that in mind. You wanna, it's like a medium range gun. A close range is... Oh my god, you actually just melted me. Yikes. So yeah, you can two round burst, okay, Lou? I mean, if you get a couple of headshots in there, um, then I feel like it'd be really, really good. So then. Well, that being said, I feel like it's kind of weak, but I feel like it's fine. I feel like it'll be kind of strong also if they do give it a bit of a buff to the damage. But, as you can see, uh, also I actually did check. You can't put sights on it or mods on it, which is a little upsetting, to be honest. I kind of wish that you could, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, this I can't, I kind of like this sight, even though it's not the best. Okay, you're going to... Not kill me, please. This one up here, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh no. I almost killed myself with that grenade, but as you can see, I can't actually kill myself with it now if I'm uh, not weak. Yeah, but as you can see, like that. Um, not really gonna do a lot. Not gonna do a lot, man. It's just not really good at l super long range. Medium range is like gonna be your best friend but as you can see even like medium range it's kind of difficult to land all three bullets from the from the burst unfortunately um so yeah this probably isn't really the best map to show it on to be honest um the best map i'll probably say is the map that i usually always play if i can i forgot what it's called i'm terrible with map names on this game to be honest but the green one if that makes any sense um actually it might be the alien one is it the alien one i don't remember the name oh wait team do you need help Oh yeah, you need help. Okay, grenades, that legs. Thanks for the leg, man. Yeet. 
okay that grenades so yeah i'm not really too sure if, i don't know why as well but look some grenades like that one was fine but when i was throwing it there man it lagged what the heck man um also you can't really take on a lot of people with this gun even though it has so much ammo okay i don't want to really challenge that to be honest don't really want to challenge that I'll challenge it if there's one person. Okay, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the damage is like... Eh? I mean, even even that headshot, which I could see quite a lot of him, it's really difficult to get all of the bullets to actually go. Like, let's say that was like, what, this far? I mean, it's not... Can, I, can you control it? Not really. <laughs> not really. That's the only problem, really, with this gun. <laughs> Um, if they're on a headshot, or a head glitch even, you're not really going to be able to kill them. That's the only problem. This gun does not really, at least on me at least, it might be for like, if you can actually control the recoil, which I don't know if you can, to be honest. Okay, well, that's that, that guy, gotta be careful now, because he's going to spawn in the back. So, but this map actually might be pretty good. Um, unfortunately, like I said, you can't put sights on it, which is a little upsetting, I'm not going to lie. Okay, oh, actually, he didn't kill me, I'm not so surprised. Oh no, I ran out of bullets. Okay, you're dead. Does he know I'm chasing him? <laughs> okay. Nope. Nope. Okay, let me go here for a second. So yeah, Blair, I like it. I, like I said, I love burst guns. My favorite guns that I used to use in Call of Duty was the M81 and the, the Chicom. Which was a terrible weapon, but it's a burst right, uh, burst SMG. I kind of liked it, even though it was terrible. I love burst weapons. Okay, you probably like not one shot to that. Yeah, but you're super weak now. Okay, well, yeah, hit firing this thing long range might not be the best idea. Okay. Bruh, <laughs> I can't kill him. Okay, no. I, I guess that hit me. It didn't though, I don't think. I'm not really too sure, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not really too sure. But yeah, weapon, I love it. Damage output, kind of trash. If they're on a head glitch, you're probably not going to kill them, unfortunately. Um, it's just really difficult to hit people on, off of headshots with this, because you're only going to hit one or two bullets out of the clip instead of all of your bullets, obviously. Which, uh... Full autos aren't going to have that problems because also most autos recalls are really easy just to keep and manage. So, yeah, that's like where it's going to struggle, obviously, is a super long range. But there, I mean, it kind of shreds, to be honest. It's really good. Probably not like super good. Okay, no. Yeah, you, you can't take on too many people like that, as you can see. And uh, obviously, it's really hard if you're ADSing to uh, keep up with people that are super close and just sliding around. So, definitely best in the mid like range. So, don't try to use it too close, which honestly, if you have that revolver, this is probably like a, a really good gun to use with the revolver. But then again, the revolver is just good in general. I mean, as you can see, like the recoil is just so much for long range, it doesn't work. Yeet. That didn't kill him. This will low. Oh, no mind. Um, I got 150 for that somehow. Yeah, okay, I don't want to challenge that. <clears throat> or do I? I'm a mad, my lads. Come here, man. Yeah, his head glitch and he knows. He knows, man. And even with they're prone, it's like, bruh. How am I gonna hit them? It's like, so difficult, man. I'm losing my mind. Okay, is anyone else here? So yeah, but actually, I kind of want to do a challenge where I go for like... Oh, it's actually a really good close range as well, but... i got to get used to the hip fire on it. Okay, this guy's using a shotgun still. Okay, you're gone. Give me a minute. So yeah, you definitely want to like head glitch with this. Um, also, on these on this map. That will definitely help you, because... Uh, he definitely needs um, Lem to not hit you as much as you hit Lem. Well, then again, that's every gun, I guess, so, yeah. Okay, your gun is over here. 
Run, 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 run. But yeah, I, I'm I am glad on one thing. They give it they give it a freaking ton of bullets. Give me through this here. Yes. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Never mind, you're not leaving me alone. I'll flank clan. It's flank time. Hello? No? Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's fairly good close range. If you if you can uh, hip fire it. Yeah, it's pretty good hip firing, honestly. Oh yeah, it's really good, man. It's really good. The fire is really good on it. The damage is honestly not that high, especially long. No, I'm dead. No, leave me alone, please. I don't like this. Why are you tra throwing that at me, bro? Leave me alone. That was an assist, really. Oh, wait. Okay, go on, teammate. He's weak. He's weak. <laughs> teammate, I helped you, man. You still didn't kill him. Also, um, I think we made the deal again that ended with Team Rage quit, which um, I'm fine with, okay. I'm fine with. hi -o. So, yeah, but yeah, this gun, I will say, I love it. I don't think it's going to be, like, one of the new guns or that you want to really use and, like, for, like, the... I want to say it's like one of the best guns that you want to like completely want to run over every other gun. Okay, well, that killed him. I'm fine with that. Oh, look, look! Okay, throw that there. No, don't fire at me. I said don't fire at me. I hit you with a grenade and that only did six. No, I it didn't even hit you. There's another guy here. So, you're dead. You're dead. Oh my god, I won't burst that guy because he was weak. Hell yeah. Okay, no, I'm weak. Bye bye, bye bye. No, 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 no. A flank. Might as well go for the flank, man. Yeah, like, I, like I said, I, I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> but I really. Okay, you weakened me so much. No, leave me alone. This one behind me. <laughs> I ran into that bullet, man. Damn it. So yeah, I will say, like I said already, I like it. I don't think it's a gun low. It actually says it unlocks at level one, so I think you should be able to use it no matter, no matter if you have a game pass. I don't think it's a game pass requirement for it. So I will say it is. It isn't one of the guns that you want to use. Also, like the shotguns, the Chris Vector. Even though the shotguns got a nerf, I still think the Spaz is probably gonna be really good still. Um, it's not one of those guns where you you want to use it. To like get really good gameplays. It is more of a fun gun, which I don't want to hit fire that range, obviously. I'm just dumb. I gotta get better with the hit fire, man. I should have killed him so long ago. Um, but yeah, it's more of a fun gun, which I like. Um, it is a little unfortunate that they didn't let us uh, change the sight, but that's fine. I mean, this uh, this sight, it's not really an iron sight, really, but like the default sight, I really like it, even though it's not the best in most situations. Oh no, that's going to kill me. Yeah, long range is not the right place for this gun. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that there. That missed. Nope. Give me a chance to reload, please. But yeah, um, I'm trying to like think what what can I actually say about it? It's a it's a fun gun, basically. The lugger is a really good like the lugger, for example, is a really good gun. The the revolver that everyone's using to one shot people and the hedge strong gun not really a fun gun it's just like you're gonna use that also if you have it unlocked because it's the best pistol in the game basically um but for the other new pistol the um the gyro jet i think it's called that isn't a good gun and it's not even a fun gun because it sucks that much so that's like the only problem with some of them like if it's if they're trying to make it fun um it's got to be at least half decent not trash like that unfortunately but um yeah this gun okay i'm just gonna throw that there but this gun definitely would, wouldn't say it's a top tier it's pretty it's pretty damn good close to like mid-range 
if you can control the hip fire recoil. Like close range. Okay, I'm dead here, unfortunately, yeah. That guy's actually freaking nuts. Level 9, there's no way he's level 9. It's gotta be a new account. 20, 78 and 12, that's not too bad. I mean, that's how you live my, my natural KD right now. But I've, I've been like sweating at the game, trying to like level up as quickly as I can. I'm level 51 now. I don't know what I level was in the last video, like somewhere in forces, I think. So, yeah, but my overall KD is now almost a 6, which is, I guess, really good. I don't really know. I don't really know what a good KD is in this game. But then, that being said, the G11 is not a gun that you want to use. If you want a really good gun, it is more of a fun gun. Fortunately, I wish the Gyro Jet Mark 1 was a little better, or if they want to make it completely meme, give it a freaking sniper scope, an A car, just give it a, just give it dumb sights, and that'll make it fun, and I'll actually want to use it, even though it really sucks, just because I like I like using fun guns more than tryhard guns, or also if I want to level up like I've been trying to do. I'll just uh, sweat, I guess, with any gun that I have. But yeah, the Chris Vector, I'm loving it. It's not really good long range, obviously. I mean, it's a Chris Vector, you can't expect to do good long range, but it kind of melts the long range. Do I have the Luger? The Luger, like, you can spam click it, and it's, like, infinite range. It's really nice. Um, but I can't wait to actually unlock some of the other guns. I actually have the um, the Magnum and the Scorpion, but I think the Taurus Judge is the one that one-shots headshots from basically any range, but then again, the Magnum actually might do that as well. So... That's my goal, is also I want to try and get prestigious so I can actually use the new, really good guns like the Riot Shield for videos. So yeah, like I said though, G11, I love it. It's a burst weapon. I'm not actually too sure if they have any more burst weapons. The AUG, I don't think it is. Um, where is there two AUGs? Oh yeah, this one's a submachine gun one. Um, I don't think... What's this one? How do you see for... Oh yeah, a fire mode auto. I don't think there's any other guns in the game. Actually, the Famous... This one sucks though, unfortunately. The Vamos just sucks. It has 18 bullets, really, man? Um, it's probably a lot better if you could actually get a sight, but <laughs> it sucks. I don't, I don't want to use it. So, yeah, I mean, as, as you can see, though, um, the Vamos just doesn't do a lot compared to the um, the G11, at least from stats. On paper, I think it has a little bit more damage, to be honest, which it says it does. Um, 18 bullets, so that's like, what, five, six times you click left clicking, or the good fire rate slow, but more manageable to hit people at longer range. The G11 low is faster fire rate, does almost the same damage, um, and also the magazine is a lot higher, more than twice, two times higher, so yeah. Um, other than that low, I don't think there's any other burst guns in the game, at least the ones that, at least the ones that I haven't used. Uh, that's an auto. I imagine a burst LMG, that would be nuts. Yeah, that, that's a semi. Uh, no, it's shotguns. Um, auto, auto. What about pistols, actually? Is there any burst pistols? Because I kind of would like one, to be honest. I love pistols. I mean, not pistols. I love burst fire mode guns. There's only two in the game, though, unfortunately, which I just found out now, because I wasn't sure if any of the high rank guns were up to burst. The Thamus, not a big fan of it, to be honest. I kind of wish it had more bullets. Damage is alright on it, though. I just I just need to look a sight on it, really. But, um, yeah... Uh, the G11 low is way better than the Famous, it looks like on paper, to be honest. It looks a lot better. Um, I don't know what the, the headshot multiplier is though, because also listed like, pretty good headshot multiplier close range. It falls off like pretty quick, though, it looks like. So yeah, there's that. Um, pretty good. Actually, wait, is this what it means, actually? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the the Famous is definitely a, a longer range gun, like a mid to, ra mid to long range. The G11 is a, a more of a close to mid range. So I'm guessing these are studs. So this is basically like the graph that you look at, see uh, how, the, how the damage drop off is. So basically within 200 studs, which is kind of fairly close range to be honest, like mid range, like I was saying, um, you can see that it will do 36 to 40. 54 damage, so that means you can actually one burst people, apparent, apparently, if you get headshots, it looks like, Len. Uh, so, I'll say free round burst, but it's difficult to hit the free bullets, because the recoil's a little insane. Um, so, as you can see, this is the uh, the spread of, like, when you're firing. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot more spread out than the Thamus, so the Thamus is definitely a longer range gun, for, for sure, for the burst guns. Um, and also, it drops off from 200, it does less damage, less damage, less damage. Once you get to the 400 mark, though, it looks like it flatlines to 10 to 16. 
which also leads Trier Solon. Sorry, <clears throat> my first blocks. So it does 36 to 54, which means you can wander someone, but you mostly have to like hit them in the chest, I guess, or the heads. Um, also, 36 in the, in the body, it looks like, from close range, is really weak. Um, because also people in this game have not 100 health, but 150 health. Which means you have to, what, 3-4 shot? Um, so it can, like, 1-2 burst people. Long range though you can see, it doesn't do any damage, really. Like, you have to, like, put, like, 15 to, what, 15 to 10 bullets, 10 to 15 bullets into people to kill them, really. It's not really worth running at long range, to be honest. I wouldn't really recommend it. But as you can see, for the famous slow, it has up to 300 studs. I'm going to call them studs. I'm not really too sure what this uh, actually is, but we'll say 300. It does a, a, about the same damage, but a little bit more, obviously. So that means also you can like, get those longer one bursts, which is great. Um, but then also, a Lenny starts to drop off at the 300 mark. So, yeah, definitely wouldn't use the G11 at super long range. It's not what it's meant for. It's meant for, like, close to mid-range. The Famous is more of, like, a mid to long range gun. But obviously, the Famous gets outclassed by basically every little assault rifle that is automatic or even the, um, even the the semi-fires to be honest like every little gun that's the same for like 300s it's gonna get beat unfortunately that's just how it works i mean the fire rate is fairly slow as you can see as well 300s um every other assault rifle to my knowledge which actually we'll have a look is f auto like about the same damage if not more damage and it has a faster fire rate, so it just gets really beat for the famous, so wouldn't really recommend you running it, to be honest. Uh, the G11, though, I love it, even though it's kind of trash, but I, I love it. It's pretty good though, close range. <laughs> anyway, I think I've talked enough, okay? I mean, another game just went on, so yeah, I don't know how long I've been talking, but I'm going to leave off there, okay? So, G11, I love it. I don't think it's one of the guns that you want to use, because it's good. It's a fun gun, which is what I want. If I add more fun guns into the game, I would... I will take fun guns over really good guns. We already have a ton of really good guns, and some of them I kind of wish uh, would get a little bit of a nerf. <coughs> the freaking Magnums, um, they're so annoying, <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, I would love more fun guns. Like I said, the Gyrojet isn't really a good gun. I would say it's more of a fun gun to use, but it sucks so much, it's just not fun, because also... Fun guns, they got to at least have the ability to kill as well. This close range sucks, so you're not really going to use a close range. At long range low, you might as well just use a sniper, honestly. It's not really worth running this pistol. If they gave it actual sights, though, like sniper sights, like, honestly, I only just want a sniper sight on our own ACOG. Like, just a really long range um, mod or sight, I think it would be a fun gun. It actually might actually turn into a fairly good gun as well, since you can actually see people long range, because the sights are not good for long range anyway though i gotta show up although i'll never stop talking so hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time